Follow my instructions at all times, keep quiet. Follow my instructions at all times, defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. Problem, I'm not sure exactly where the... He's trying to stick his forearm in there. Well, that's what they're going to try and do. Zach Parker, very good at long range, clever, switches as well. Wide rangey shoulders. Zach Parker and these two in very, very good. Nick Parker finding good distance there, looking for the uppercut. Didn't quite land it. Yeah, very broad at the shoulders, Parker. Attractive main event fighter. You have to sell it, you have to sell yourself. And Murdoch looking in and letting those right uppercut and left uppercuts into the pit. Clear in the first round that Murdoch's going to try and out hustle Parker, rough him up on this. Just getting in there and pushing the two of them apart. And he... yeah. That's good work from Parker on the inside there, landed two body shots, a nice... ...to Parker, he almost landed a fight with Andre Ward on the Cotto Canelo card back in late 2015. You've got to be careful, protect yourself at all times as the rule of the ring goes. Murdoch's looking to truly landed. Yeah, really just landing a few more jabs and a couple of good body shots. ...sign when you see pros coming to a show and just managed to catch, catch Park on the end of the jab. Just 18, he was in with a 1-0 fighter. So, so it was a rough, tough kind of fight to have that early and just sort of learned a lot from, certainly didn't. Good lead left hook there, just faint the jab, turned it into a long lead left hook, good work from Park. A couple of nice short right hooks there and a good uppercut to the body as well. He just found enough room for the left hand Parker, but that was a good straight left there from Murdoch, but Parker gets through with a couple of jabs and good solid right hand from him to the side of the head, kind of fight that Murdoch beforehand would have felt that he would want, and then hits him. Good jabs there from Parker. Range and he's slipping and dipping and bending at the knees, getting... To the final 30 seconds of... The other one into making a mistake. Pit of the stomach from Parker, so you know I've given him, and so you know it's a good fight. They're well matched. You can see a, a lot of more into the orthodox stance in this round so far. And again, that lead left hand gets through, and again the wind out of Murdoch sails there briefly, big time here. And Murdoch maybe doesn't quite realise it. The jab and just turned the jab into a left hook, and you know good body. Well, Murdoch, his best round of the fight so far by far, Murdoch. Looking in the middle of the round, has just gone a little bit gun shy. Murdoch. The double jab there for Murdoch, and Parker just trying to keep that head on the move. Hasn't been a huge round win for him, but he's won the round and he's on the board at least. With did do a, a little bit of damage to Parker through lengths of the early rounds in the books. Parker and Parker's jab has been good, it's been good. It's always fascinating watching fights to see how the momentum can just ebb and flow and a good right hand again there. Fade back and, and rode the second one to an extent, but it's just and Murdoch's just fancying his chances of walking through him a bit. Yeah, he landed two good right hands, like a double right hand when he's boxing better here. Again, Chapman. Parker just inching forward with that front of the jab. Good footwork there, just took the weight back. To I think Murdoch just a bit sharper, a little bit quicker to the punch as well. One, two from Park, movement, plenty of switching, quite a wide stance, a solid base to punch from. Looking. Kind of landed a good left hook, but Murdoch come back with one of his own. To see excitement, I think, from Fury is, is fair to round. And you did actually give him the fifth as well, so that will... Parker started well back into it. The pain as well due to that dislocated shot. Good range there. To the body with the right hand, but Murdoch comes back, and this is turning into a tough, grueling fight. Just leaning on there, Parker on the ropes. Had a lot of confidence, he had a bit of a spring in, struggling a little bit. Again, close round, but I just felt, you know, Parker had the edge early on. And then since then, he's standing in the middle, trying to land those body shots. You just immediately saw him feel for it. On his punches in this round, I think you're right, Matt. I think he felt he needed to provide a response. Yeah, fight really heating up here. Murder, firing back, double jab right hand. Oh, good right hand there.
from but, and a good body shot. Good body shot. Another good right hand, and those are two cracking shots, and he's stepping on Wood up now and setting his feet here, Parker, and looking though is tucked up well there. Zach Parker in the white and green, he's a number two with the WBO. Rowan Murdoch in the black and white from Australia, he's at number one. I'm here. Yeah. Hands low, head movements, lots of... Oh, good right hand from Parker, just fainted the jab, left hook, right hand combination. Well, it was a good one too, and it was delivered just as much to the Australian. He could certainly take a shot. Good movement, slipping slide to side, shoot the jab. Parker with that jab, and Murdoch is struggling to get inside it at the moment in this round. Yeah, he seems to be back on top here now, Parker, boxing. I like the way Parker shoots that jab from the hip, shoots it up, and every now and then he'll just faint the jab and turn into a left hook, landing a really good right hand. Well, a couple of right hands shot up from the hip, and he's, he's catching Murdoch, and these are going to chip away at him. He could certainly... Yeah, and I just think Parker's got more dimensions to him here. He's, 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 he's mixing things up. He's mixing the range up. He's shooting the jab from the hip. He can fight up close with the ball here, Parker. But Murdoch will keep rounds where just a little bit of snap went off the shot, so Murdoch was able to sit drop. Murdoch will keep walking forward. So it was... Uh, he was really effective with it in that round. Murdoch trying for that jab, didn't quite reach. Parker looking for that right-hand lead again there, and as I say, just moving straight in behind it, so you can't... ...contact with Parker. Nice combination there. The back of a good stiff jab. Uppercut didn't miss by far there, Murdoch again just takes in a bit of air and continues to try. Again, looking for that left hook right hand combination. Parker, but Parker's seen it coming and just rode the shot. Quite wide stances, so their front foot is always near the other, which a happy hunting ground for him, the Manchester Arena, but of course there was that fight with today and that did not go Scott Quigg's way. Yeah, I wonder is Murdoch going to be more aggressive here now? I've got him falling behind on my four rounds to go here and Parker just looks comfortable now. I think Murdoch's going to have to try and change things a bit here. There's a good body shot there from Murdoch and he just dropped. He's going to come off second best, Parker. Shoot a bit up here. Looking for the one-two there from home. And they'll be able to read a fight and that a good jab. Murdoch and again. I think he should be trying to counter that jab. That was a nice jab from Murdoch. Yeah, the right hand down the middle when he goes south. Ball. Good jab there from Murdoch. I don't think there's anything wrong with his engine. No, good, good jab there from Parker. But, you know, it's been a much better round from Murdoch. He needed a good round and he's come out and given us one. Between... Zach Parker in the white and green, and reckon white is number one against number two in the WBO rankings. And proud Matt Murdoch dug in, he was busier, he worked that little bit harder. Parker had won, he was, he was a bit slicker, he had better variety. Certainly ahead here, good body shot there from Parker. That was a really good left hand to the body, looping it on the poor stance again, looking for that left uppercut to the stance. I'd seen bring the right hook over the top. Just stepping out with that lead foot and find it again there, goes up top that time. Yeah, things around maybe. He's giving Murdoch a cut into the pit of the stomach and bring the right hook upstairs after. It's work great, right? his punch output in this round. Yeah, this is good from Parker. Really, really, really effective here from the south course. And then finish upstairs with that right hook to the head. Good work here again from Parker. Murdoch looks to pitch. This has been a great response from Parker. Murdoch had a good round for Parker here. Two really big right hands round. as Murdoch just tucked up on the ropes here. Parker again just takes that step to try and find a different angle. And Murdoch just looking to... It's heartbreaking here for Murdoch, who just should come out in the last round, put a lot into it, won the round, and then Parker just responds with this. And I think is is feeling... That get into that kind of range, and then you heard Chris Carter rounds to go. You've got to keep this long. So it's a kind of change of tack. There's been absolutely nothing. He obviously does have ability too. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and that, Murdoch was trying to out-hustle 
Parker and stick their forearm in and the shoulder in and rough him up. And there were, there were rounds when he was jabbing really well and he landed some. When I think earlier, and it was a great response from the previous round where Parker having switched southpaw now. Oh, good left hand there, that looping those left uppercuts into the pit of the slumber. Often kept coming forward. Once it's been a really entertaining uh, boxing match here. As a position, trying to set traps and a real thinking. So into the final minute of round 12, there's that lead. Variety, less predictable, and good stuff at times, but I just think that Parker's been that little bit cuter, and he's got a bit more variety and a bit more quality. And even up close here now, really putting the shots together. Good left hook there, and a right hook. Big right Parker. hand there from Parker, then collecting with the left two, and the right goes straight down the middle, oh. and that's a huge <laughs> left hand from Parker. <laughs> and Murdoch oh. on his back, oh. 10 seconds left on the round. He got back to his feet quickly, but Edwards is having a really good look at him. Tells him to walk forward and then waves it over. Right at the end of the round, the referee, as I said, is looking right into the eyes there. There's no real complaint from the Murdoch corner. His trainer, Chris Carden, just going to the middle of the ring to collect his fighter. And I was wondering whether that was a bit hasty, but as I watched him walk to the corner, that was 100% the right thing to do. That was exactly 100% spot on from the referee. He looked into the eyes of Murdoch and... He was not there, he was lazy, he wasn't steady on his legs, and that was an absolutely brilliant New winner by RSC, he's still undefeated, and the new WBO International Super.